time for a mega ultra retro review now, possibly an item before the days of television. It's belonged to my granddad, as seen here. This is when he was in the Second World War against Hitler, and he carried around an accordion everywhere. My granddad, not Hitler, obviously. The item is this impertinent questions and pertinent answers. Or, for those of you who don't speak old, rude questions and relevant answers. Makes the world laugh which explains the slightly creepy face on the front. The idea is, they come in two sets, red and yet also blue. One set is the questions, one set is the answers, which is which. Good, I've got them the wrong way round. Let's start again. One set is questions, one set is answers. And the idea is, you shuffle them up, you take out a question at random, read an answer at random, and the answer should be amusing and relevant. I'll bet that doesn't happen though, because I've tried this before. Ready? First question. Have you a murky past? First answer. How dare you? Now you see, that's not particularly relevant to anything, is it? It's just kind of a brush off more than an answer. Let's try again. Would a nudist colony accept you? Gan with ya! Again, that's not really an answer, is it? That's just an explanation, and a strange one at that. Is the world laughing yet? Third one. Do you still beat your wife or husband? Ooh, that's not particularly funny, is it? Pass me my teeth. I want to bite you. Hmm. A strange tale of violence and home there. Are you an old Borstal graduate? Ooh. I require notice of that question. You see, they're not bloody answers, really, are they? One more. Are you a born sponger? No, but I have the pen of my grandfather's aunt. So, really, this game shouldn't be called Impertinent Questions and Pertinent Answers. It should be called Cheeky Questions and Utterly Stupid Non-Answers. Makes the world laugh? No. No, it does not. I don't think it made anybody laugh. But there you are.